morning my lovelies and welcome back to my channel welcome to the most greasy hair to be honest with you um i did put some where is it of the elixir in my hair this morning um i've done a run ready which i feel really good for if you watch my videos you'll know that i'm doing couch 5k and i just feel really proud of myself i'm on week two and I think it's like a nine week thing and then by the end of it you can run 5k easy and I just feel so good like every time I finish doing it I feel amazing and I feel so proud of myself because I've always loved the idea of running but never got into it or I don't know I've just always been like mm, yeah but honestly I love it we got a treadmill downstairs which takes up a lot of space but when gyms open I think they open in April we're gonna pop the treadmill in the garage and then I'm still going to do it on the treadmill at the gym if that makes sense so I'm not going to stop I'm just going to carry on and each session's half an hour so it's literally half an hour of your day and you feel amazing so at the moment I run about 3k and then by the end of it you run 5k easy so feeling good very positive and it just puts me in such a nice mindset for the day especially when it's such a nice day like today like it's so sunny and blue sky and i just feel really happy and positive so yeah every time i wake up like yesterday i woke up and i was just like no nope, not working out <laughs> i didn't regret it but i kind of did and you only get positives from working out it's only good things and i need to keep reminding myself that like it's only good things that's what i was trying to get to um obviously i've been sweating i popped this in my hair this morning this is the hair burst volume and growth elixir this is amazing it's like a hybrid product it's really good as like a heat protective spray but also anything like a leave-in sort of spray like it's really good obviously i've just been running and stuff so my hair looks awful but do you know when you want to put your hair up in a ponytail or a bun and you want it to be really slick back but you don't want to drench your hair in hairspray this is such a good alternative because i literally just spray it and then it just makes it all neat but you know you're not putting like crap on your hair it's like good stuff on your hair does that make sense um so yeah i love that anyway i want to put oh my gosh my hair i want to put a hair mask in have a little pamper with you guys today i'm so excited for today's vlog and i feel like i haven't been this excited in a long time more so because i have got some things arriving today that i bought from amazon that i thought we could do together so there's a lot of diy in today's video but I hope you guys are excited because I'm really looking forward to it. I bought some rings to make wreaths with. So I thought we can make like a spring wreath together, which I'm so excited for. Um, I've bought a waxing kit <laughs> because I need to like, my eyebrows are so bad. So I want to wax my eyebrows. I want to try and do my legs and stuff like that. So I think we should do that later on today. And just have like a little bit of a pamper, a little bit of like a spring video. Um, I'll show you guys any sort of house updates we have, especially in the garden. Um, so yeah, really excited. So I'm just going to pop a hair mask in my head. So I'm so excited to share with you guys this product because I work with Hair Burst every month. This is part of our collaboration. So yes, this video is really kindly sponsored by them. But you guys know I love Hair Burst and I literally, their products are just amazing. So this is their shampoo and conditioner, which is amazing. It's got like coconut, avocado. It's just, it really helps your hair. It smells amazing. It helps your hair growth, the shine, everything. It's like everything you want in products, it's got it. And I've always used the conditioner here as like a hair mask because it's quite thick. I really struggle to find like good quality hair masks and that's always helped my hair. But recently, they've actually come out with their own hair mask, which I'm just, honestly, I'm so excited for this. When they sent it to me, I think it was last week, I was like, oh my God, I'm literally, I love a hair mask. I pop one on like probably every, well, at least once a week, at least. I just love them so much. This is like the dreamiest hair mask ever it smells amazing it smells like everything you want in a hair mask it's got coconut fruit extract in it which is really good because it helps your shine smoothness and overall hydration in your hair which is just amazing it's got sunflower seed extract in it which is amazing because it's going to help your hair and repair it from uv protection because i always feel like every time that i'm in the sun it dries my hair out i don't know about you and the fact that it's going to protect that and repair any uv damage is just amazing it's like 
everything you want. If you find that your hair can be quite knotty, it can be quite hard to brush out. I always feel like that after a workout. Sometimes I'm like, oh, <laughs> my brush stuck. So if you really struggle to brush your hair out, but you want to do it gently so it obviously prevents split ends. It's also got black oat extract in it, which is amazing for that. So they've really thought about all the formulas and the products that go into this. It's like a little pot of heaven. <laughs> It's got argan oil and avocado oil in it as well, which is amazing for your hair. They're really good antioxidants. They're going to strengthen your hair and prevent breakage and damage as well. So it's just everything that you want in a mask. A lot of the time I sort of pick masks up and I'm like, oh, the packaging looks nice. But the fact that this has science behind the mask is going to help your hair. It smells amazing. It's just incredible. And um, so, yeah, I'm so excited to share with you guys this and pop it on if you're interested in her burst and i've heard me talk about them a lot then i do have a 20 percent off code so you can use my code amy rose to get 20 percent off her burst i'll pop it in the description box down below with all the sort of t's and c's behind it but yeah i love this brand i love their products and this is just like my favorite thing that they do now <laughs> so with hair masks a lot of people recommend to wash your hair and then when you come out, then put the hair mask in, leave it for about 15 to 20 minutes and then rinse it out after. Personally, I like to pop it in my hair when it's dry. And I always feel like when it's at its worst, it gets to it and it just helps it so much. Um, so yeah, it, you may find that it can be a little bit like, oh, can I put it up? But it's honestly so easy. Um, so yeah, I'm literally just going to pop this on my hair. Leave it, I honestly, I want to leave it for about an hour. But I've got work to do, so I'll probably leave it on for about 15 to 20 minutes. I'm just going to grab the bits from the lid and then just pop it in. I always make sure I have a scrunchie or like a hairband, just so it's easy for me to pop it up after but yeah i start like on the ends and i sort of really work into like the hair just so it's all covered and then i sort of go up so when my hair's in a bun i'll then grab more of the ma and pop it on the root especially like my baby hairs okay so yeah i'm gonna leave this on probably 20 minutes, half an hour. I'm just gonna try and get on with some jobs. I need to cleanse my skin because I've just worked out and I feel like, oh, gross. So I'm gonna cleanse my skin, have a bit of a pamper and then get in the shower. Okay, I'm now going to pop in the shower, wash this off. I'm going to use their shampoo and conditioner just to wash it off. Um, I feel like using all their products as a combo is just the best thing to do. Um, so yeah, I feel like my hair's definitely got thicker. It's grown so much. I've used hair burst for so long now, maybe a few years now. Um, and it's just helped it. So yeah, I'm just going to wash it out um, and then we can get ready for the day. makeup for today i've gone for like purple eyeliner can you see it's like purple i used a lip liner because i see a lot of people do like a lighter color mm. i someone at my door yeah i see people use like a brownie sort of purple eyeliner and i really like it it's not as like in your face i think i need to go more subtle with the lashes next time and then I think yeah it'll be the look that I want and then I've also just straightened my hair because I just felt like straightening it today and I'm obsessed with this mask like my hair not only smells amazing it feels 
incredible and I just love it I love that there's like a shine to it now it just feels like it's in really good condition and yeah I'm so pleased with it so I'm gonna pop my clothes on for today I don't know what I'm gonna wear yet but I feel like something spring and then go downstairs and eat breakfast because I'm so hungry so I want to have my smoothie so yeah I'm very excited so I've just popped a dress on which is from ASOS and I absolutely love it. It's just so comfortable um, and it's so nice to wear a dress. So, and I've got um, sliders on, which feels really nice. It's probably not that warm outside, but you know when you're just like, no, I'm in denial about it. <laughs> I'm going to dress for spring. <laughs> Hello, would you like to go to the toilet? Oh, look all these toys here. Come on then. Our garden is looking really cute. I love our little table here. So this is currently what my view is. I wanted to have yoghurt coated strawberries. Um, so I'm going to do those first just so it gives them time to set. And then we'll do the pancakes after. But um, yeah, I'm so excited. Please now, I gotta realise that you have fallen out. So I'll take my chances tonight. I gotta choose five. done is cook um but the strawberries i've put back in the freezer i'm really excited to eat them later and then i've just popped an ice cube in so last night i popped in two raspberries and a dried flower in each of our humongous ice cube or ice cube trays that we got from amazon and they look so cute so yeah i'm just going to enjoy a sprite sit on my swing outside and before the sun gets goes down and gets a little bit colder and yeah okay so i've just received these deliveries here from amazon that i ordered like yesterday and the day before so i thought i could unbox them with you because there's something in here which i'm so excited about that we're gonna make together so yeah very excited. Also, I'm so full. Um, I didn't eat all the pancakes, obviously. I stacked, hello. I stacked all of them up for a really cute picture, which I'll pop probably in a thumbnail and then Instagram. So yeah, I definitely didn't eat all of them. I probably had one at a push that I was so full. Every time I eat pancakes, I only eat one. Hello. Um, so yeah, let's open these. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, this looks so cute. Um, I bought some jewelry for myself. 
So this is the first bracelet I got. It is so cute. I think it's like a dupe for the Cartier ones, but it's got like crystals in. Um, so yeah, I just think that is absolutely stunning. Oh, I like this. Um, I basically want to change all of these up. They've just gone a little bit rusty-ish, but they are a bit like tangled together. So I kind of just want to change it up a little bit. I'm not going to chuck them, but... So I saw this bracelet and I actually got it in the rose gold and the silver because I really liked it. Like, I really like the chain of it. It's quite different, but it's beautiful and it's just really simple and I quite like this bit. So I got that one and I'm guessing the other one is in one of these. I mean... <laughs> This is one whole thing and it's got an eyeliner in it. Um, like I mentioned this morning, I want to start doing like more brownie eyeliner. So I bought a brown Maybelline High Precise All Day Liner um, and it's just brown. So I'll try that in the morning. Hopefully it looks nice, maybe nicer than the purple. <laughs> So this is what I bought for the wreath, but it's really small. I genuinely didn't realise it would be this small. Maybe I can just do it, this as like the smaller part and then do the flowers going up. Hopefully that'll work. Yeah, do you use two when you do it? I've only seen people use one. So maybe I've actually got two and I can make two different ones for the garden. Because that's just more of like a template, isn't it? Um, damn it, I, it's my fault though for not looking at the measurements, but do you know when you look at something and it looks big in the camera? Or in the photo? Oh, so this is the Pre-Care Claire? Claire? Pre Cleansing Gel, and then this is the Cooling Gel for the waxing, and I'm guessing the waxing is in here. Okay, so in here... Um, we've got LED fairy lights. These, we basically bought an umbrella, like a huge umbrella to go in the garden. So in the summer, um, in the evening, we can pop fairy lights inside it and then turn it on. I think that looked really cute. This is the silver bracelet as well. So yeah, it's exactly the same as the rose gold. So I can wear those together. Okay, and then in here is the waxing stuff, which we're actually gonna do today. Um, I tried to find sensitive one and this one kept coming up. It says low allergy formula. So I'm really excited. It's got coconut and Anika. I don't know what that is. Um, it's a tropical fragrance and I'm really excited. It's basically a wax that you put on your skin, leave it to go a little bit tacky and then you rip the actual wax off. You don't put any like sheet over the top, whatever the technical term is. And then yeah, this is like the wax and pop. So I'm very excited to do that. Um, hopefully it won't be a fail. I want to do like a little patch test just to see because every time I've had my brows waxed at salons years ago I always used to really like act up to it like my skin would just be red and like bumpy like really like allergy form but if this one says low allergy formula then fingers crossed it'll be okay but I think I'll do a patch test just to make sure and then yeah hopefully it'll all be okay and I can wax my legs and my face and my armpits and not worry about anything this summer. So yeah, very excited. Anyway, I think we should go upstairs and start making the wreaths because I'm so excited. Hopefully it won't be too small, but yeah, let's go. Okay, so we're currently in my beauty room on the floor. This is perfect because I can just sort of sit here and use this. Um, I'm gonna make two because why not? I might do one for the back like the garden and then one for the front door these are the flowers that i have i've got a drawer for fake flowers because i have this obsession with them don't know why so yeah i thought i could just not buy any more because obviously i don't need any more but just use these and then to hang it up i've got some nice ribbon so yeah let's get started i'm so excited i should probably get some scissors though in there I've double knotted the knot so then it's like quite secure um the back of it looks like this you just vine it through um and I love it so I think this one 
could go in the front door, I'm not sure. I'm gonna make the second one yet and then decide. But I love it, I just feel like it's so spring and pretty. And it's not as small as I thought, like considering it's like that, do you see what I mean? Like the flowers sort of go out of it. So yeah, it's not as small as I thought. Um, but I absolutely love it and I'm so impressed. I know I'm gonna get questions on the flowers. So the roses, like the whitey pinky roses are from the range. Um, these are from Amazon. And then I'm about to use tulips, which don't look very realistic, but they're quite foamy. So I'm not sure. I'm not the biggest fan of these tr tulips. <laughs> tulips. But we'll see. It might look nice, or I might just do it just with the flowers. I'm not sure. I really don't know what to do. Because I do really like that. I'm just, I'm really happy with myself. Like, I didn't think it would turn out as good as this, if I say so myself. But it's exactly what I would want for like a spring wreath. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, very pleased with this. So yeah, let's make the second one. <laughs> sorry about <laughs> this sun um but i made my second wreath and it looks exactly the, <laughs> the same um so yeah this is the second one and then the ribbon is here i should start selling them and then this is the first one what one do you like more <laughs> i feel like they look exactly the same but i can't yeah well i did use the same flowers so maybe that is why um but i'm so pleased with it you can see the back again you just sort of thread it through there's no real technique and you're quite you have to be quite messy at the back and like tuck it it's a lot of like tucking under so it doesn't like poke through um but yeah i love it so much and i feel like they're just gonna look so cute for spring and summer and then the next wreath will be for autumn because i think i'm gonna keep that one for spring and summer i might change my mind but for now i really like it so i kind of want to go downstairs and put it on the door i didn't end up using the tulips because i just didn't really like them i hate fake flowers that are foamy because i don't know like can you just see they just look really like foamy and yeah not a fan of those so yeah i'm glad um i chose to do sort of the same similar design the ribbon I got was from The Range and it's in the shade Cream Blush, if anyone's wondering. So just probably searching like Cream Blush ribbon at The Range and then you'll be able to find it. So yeah, I'm going to go and put these on the door now. Um, I want to put the other one in the garden but I'm not too sure where because I want it to like look really cute but I'm not sure where. I don't know, we'll go and find somewhere. But anyway, I should probably clean up this mess and then let's go and put it on the doors. God, I love it. It just looks so cute. Okay, and then this one. Are you two having a little nap? I want to put it in the garden somewhere, but I'm not sure where to put it. It's meant to rain tonight, so I might leave it here for now. Um, and then when the weather's a bit drier, put it out because I'm going to be devastated if I literally put this outside and then it rains. Obviously after a while it'll be fine, but yeah, I'll be very upset. <laughs> it does look so cute though. Hello. <laughs> Guess he's home. Every time Bradley's home the dogs just go whoop to him. So I've done quite a lot since I last spoke to you. Um, I was upstairs filming some bits for sponsors and stuff like that. But I feel like it's now time to try out the waxing. Are you excited? Yeah. I also want to do Brad Bradley's monobrow. It doesn't need to be done yet, does it? Today. Oh, okay. Yeah? Yeah. Are you a bit sad that I just sprang it on you? Yeah. Do you need I'm to suck myself up? Okay, it's alright though. Okay, so this is what the little pot jar whatever it is that looks like right let's pop it on that's high 
I hate, I've probably done about half, just under half. They smell incredible. And I think I'm going to use one of these to like help mix around it, which will help as well. Oh my God, what a nice sound. So this is what it looks like inside. Um, and I think I'm just going to leave it here like that to heat up. <laughs> the sweet scent of your skin filled up my lungs with ecstasy. I can't we were so young, maybe 20 something. Okay, I've just waxed my arms. That kit is amazing. I'll pop a link to it down below. It's honestly helped so much. I want to do my legs. But I feel like I kind of want to do it in the daytime because it was quite hard to see the hairs. Um, although it's got quite a lot of them, to be fair. Um, I think I need to do it in the motion that the hairs go against because it's easier then to rip it off and get more hairs. Anyway, I'm hungry for dessert and I wanted to show you. I got Little Moons and I want to try the flavours just to see which one's the nicest. So we've got passion fruit and mango, vanilla, Belgian chocolate, and then creamy coconut. This is the one I've tried before, and honestly, it's amazing. I'm just gonna go and shut that. So let's start off with this, just because I'm so excited. But it says to leave these on for five minutes, so I've left them for five minutes, and I'm gonna try them. Oh my god, they're like squishy. Oh my god. They are so nice. I'm going to have a bite out of each because I feel like it's bad if I eat all of them. So this is the vanilla. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mm. Oh my god. That is so good. If you haven't heard of Little Moons, oh, they're just amazing. It's basically the outside of it's rice dough and then inside of it's ice cream. But they're only like 70 calories each one. Okay, and then this one is the passion fruit and mango, which I've been so excited to try. <gasps> oh my God. That is so nice. That is perfect for like a summer's day when you're outside. Oh my God. Okay, so out of those three, I think the vanilla is my favorite. It's just simple. Mm, that's so good. But the other two are so nice. And I think when it's really nice outside, they'll be nicer. The coconut one, I think is still my favorite. The coconut one is so good. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to try that because <laughs> I just love Little Moons. I don't know about anyone else. They're just so nice and like, mm. anyway, time to go upstairs now and do my skincare. My lips are like gone with. Okay, so we're now in my bathroom. Bradley is currently downstairs watching football and that just didn't interest me. <laughs> I was like, no, I'm going upstairs. I'm going to do my skincare. So I'm just going to bung my hair up. And then I'm going to take my lashes off. Ow. Oh. And then if you've watched my videos before, you'll know that I always use this to take my makeup off. What is my hair doing? <laughs> what is that? Um, yeah, these are like face halo dupes. Um, I literally get them on Amazon. You bung them in the wash, so they're really easy, reusable better than using cotton pads. I do have cotton pads, but I only use them at the end to take any excess eye makeup off because these are quite big and sometimes it doesn't get the whole thing, but it's better than using cotton pads. So I dampen it and then you can just use it with warm water if you want, but I always find it just works better using micellar water with it as well. And it's also easier to get the makeup off of this after. Um, so I literally just go like that and then you can see it literally 
takes your makeup off without any mess like you don't have to worry about flannels and everything with your makeup splatting anywhere it literally just like falls off and it's great and then you can turn it around and use the other side oh, I could spend every single day so I'm then gonna go in with the Garnier Express 2-in-1 eye makeup remover um, it's like purple and clear and you shake it and then pop it on a cotton pad and then I literally hold it on my eye gently rubbing it and it's more so the glue that gets stuck to my eyes like you can see it just falls off and then i'm just going to cleanse my skin as i always do basically the same how i done it this morning to fake tan my face this has become my favorite fake tan for my face it's just so lovely and it isn't too drying i find it's quite like a serum fake tan like that's the really best way to describe it it just instantly adds color and then it also develops so i'm gonna pop this on usually i don't like to do it before i go to bed but tomorrow i'm filming a lot of skincare bits and bobs and i feel like i just feel more confident with no makeup when i've got a bit of a tan i feel like i look a bit unwell when i don't <laughs> you were the other half of my heart wanna be so the other half hopefully pop on another layer before bed because I'm working out in the morning and I don't want to completely sweat the whole thing off <laughs> so yeah I think I should get into bed edit for a little bit and then when it's a little bit more dry I'll come back and do another layer I'm just editing this video and I thought I'd end it here um thank you what oh oh my god that's bad he's got a really bad blister and I just held his hand Oh, are you picking it? No, I'm actually not touching it. But because obviously I've got to stretch my hand sometimes, uh, it like cuts it. When inside. you when you write, does it hurt? No, it just misses it. Oh. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. We hope you've enjoyed it, and hopefully we'll see you on Sunday. Woo! Do you say bye?